You better not go on that fucking date. We broke up a year ago, Maddie. You can't stop me. Maybe I can't, but I bet my fucking Draco can. On today's episode of Brutally Honest, we meet Maddie, a crazy ex-girlfriend. Listen, I might be a crazy ex now, but I was a great girlfriend. Brian, why are you texting another bitch? Maddie, that's my mom. That's still another bitch, Brian. She was a fucking nightmare. Maddie's loved ones opted to send her to controversial therapist Dr. Victor Blaine as a last ditch effort to help her. Stalking exes, seeing cars, flashing tires. Maddie, you're fucking crazy. Well, Dr. Blaine, Brian was the one who told me he liked crazy girls. So you did all that other crazy stuff to him, but you never Oh no, I don't do that. It hurts my jaw too much. Yeah, I think Brian was talking about a different kind of crazy. Dr. Blaine continued to confront Maddie about her behavior. Yeah, I held Brian's sister hostage when we broke up. But that doesn't answer why he dumped me in the first place. He probably dumped you because he wanted to date a nice girl, not the fucking Joker. Okay, Blaine, keep talking like that and I'll come beat your ass. No, you won't. Uh, I used to fuck Brian up. Yeah, and Brian told me he didn't believe in hitting women. Okay. And? Okay, and I'm not Brian, bitch. I'm a believer. Okay, guys, are you done eating? Yeah, can we get two checks? Um, hey, two checks? Um, my friend is here. Like, was you not gonna pay for me? Who said I'm paying for you? Well, you are a man, right? Well, since you're a woman, go make me a sandwich. Put some mayonnaise on it. Um, excuse me? You can't tell me what I have to do just because of my gender. Interesting. Listen, if you're broke, just say that. <laughs> if you want to get punched in your jaw, just say that. Excuse me? Hey! Whoa, sir. What is the problem here? There's a problem? How you gonna solve it? Whoa, 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 whoa. Listen, calm down, babe, please. We was having a good day. Listen, boo, you better calm your man down. Why like your wig just moved? That horse trying to get into. Okay, sir, you gotta calm down. Hey, he. Where's. What? What's the craziest thing you did to get a girl to like you? I had convinced this chick that I was dying. <laughs> <laughs> dying? So, I was in like ninth grade. This chick was bad, bro. She wouldn't talk to me for nothing. I was like, damn. I convinced like four or five people I had cancer. All her friends. And they started talking to this chick, telling her I had cancer. She was like, oh my God, I'm so sorry, blah, 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 blah. This shit took me two years to accomplish. Two years. <laughs> two years? <laughs> so you're almost bro, dying. Two. You fake dying for two years? Bro, for two years. Oh, bro, my God. How you keep school. that up? That boy was I had to start skipping school. <laughs> 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 Did you? Was it mission I, accomplished? Of course. Is this That's the girl you with now? <laughs> nah, hell no. <nah>. So <laughs> She think I died. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy, oh bro. God. That's wild, oh bro. God. What do you want? Oh, you're hungry? Okay, so um order food then. You want me to cook? Okay, um just come here. Come here for a sec. Come here and just uh Take a look at the finger. Look, look closely, look closely. What is it? Oh, it's empty. Why do you expect wifey behavior from me when you haven't even made me a wife yet? Talking nonsense all the time. By the way, why haven't you paid the phone bill yet? Babe, look at all the pictures we took last night. We all look so cute. Huh? What do you mean, why am I kissing that boy on the cheek? Oh, that's my gay best friend. Why are you getting angry? What, a girl can't kiss her gay best friend in peace nowadays? I bet you make out with your barber all the time. What do you mean I'm driving today? I'll have you know that I'm a PP, a passenger princess. Oh, one second, actually. Let me just, you know, 
What do you mean, what am I doing? I'm unbuttoning my pants because I'm looking for my dick. What's with you men nowadays wanting to act like women? You want me to be the one to propose next? Okay, fine. Here, this is what you want, right? Will you marry me? Please, please, please. This is what you want, right? Veronica, you're late. What do you mean? I'm right on time. I need you to be here 15 minutes early so you can set up its policy. Oh, okay. So you want me to clock in 15 minutes early? Okay. No, um, I want you to clock in at the time that your shift starts, but I want you to be here 15 minutes early. Does that make sense? Next time it's a write-up. Oh, I can't stand you. <laughs> um, sure. Okay, can you send that to me over in an email? I'm going to send it to HR to make sure that you're not trying to do something illegal, because <laughs> I think you are, right? Uh, I don't, uh, amazing. So once I can confirm that what you're trying to ask me to do isn't illegal, <laughs> right, then I'll start coming in 15 minutes early. Okay. All right. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thanks. <laughs> Monica, I am your boss and you're supposed to do. You have a booger, by the way, right here. Oh God, I thought I felt something. Oh yeah, it's a big one. It's like hanging out. You might want to go to the bathroom just to tuck it and maybe take care of that. <laughs> I'm going to go make lattes. Okay, all right, thank you. Oh, gross, bye. Hey babe, do you think we could switch for a little bit and you watch the baby? I could use a break, maybe a quick shower. Yeah, I should be done here in just a little bit. Yeah, it's been about three hours though. <laughs> okay, fine. It just doesn't seem fair that I have to drop everything the moment you want to go do something, but whatever. Oh, I didn't realize this was about fairness. I'm sorry. Do you think it's fair that since it's the weekend, it's just assumed that it's my job to watch the kids while you work in the garage? Uh... Do you think it's fair that I get pushback for asking to go take a shower, but you won't even think to ask when you come in sweaty from the garage? How come I have to ask, but you don't? Uh, uh... That's, that's a good question. Do you think it's fair that when I get a break, I end up having to use it to shower or clean the house or make food for the family, but when you get a break, you get to do actual hobbies. But if I tried to leave the house for hours, you would say I was dumping the kids and the chores on you. Is that fair? Uh, I have said that before, haven't I? Or do you only care about fairness when it applies to you? Hmm. Babe? Huh? I said, do you mind if we switch so I could take a quick shower? Oh my gosh, yes. I mean, no. I don't mind. I'm so sorry. I lost track of time out here. It's okay. seeing my daughter mm, not long three two days you know what i'm saying she's very giving loving i think she's one of the oops i just dropped my spoon i have to go find it <laughs> clumsy um she's a very nice loving person <laughs> very giving the table see-through the table see-through the table see-through the table see-through oh, here we go again why you don't trust my friends i'll show you Let's call Watts. What you calling Watts for? You gonna see. What's good? Hey, Watts. What's up? Where's Carrie? He with you. No, he don't. Girl, stop playing. He with you. Um, no, he isn't. Yes, he is. We just got off the phone talking like five minutes ago about you. Oh, so y'all was talking about me. He must have put you on alert because he be cheating. Mm-hmm, I know it. Actually, he was just telling me about the ring he just bought you because he was going to propose. But now no more. You just messed it up and lost a good dude with your stupid ass. Mommy. It's over. Leave the new phone, too. I bought that. Leave the new phone, too. What's so funny? Who are you laughing with? Oh, just chatting. Chatting? Or is that Tom again? Oh my gosh, seriously? We broke up a year ago with Tom. Wait, then who is it?
It's Mike. I met him on Meaty. What? What? You're chatting with Mike now. Relax, Mr. Jealous. It's not what you think. Meet isn't a dating app. It's different. You get paid just to chat with people. Paid to chat? Where do you think I got the money for your new PS5? You, you bought me that with meat money? Yup. So technically, Mike bought you the PS5. Okay, maybe I got a little carried away. You know I love you, right? I know. It's all right though.